We all love badminton. It's such an exciting, addictive, and fun sport. With only two rockets, one shot of luck, and a good friend, you can easily spend a great afternoon together exercising. In this video, we are going to talk about the brief history of badminton so you can get to know this lovely sport better. What is badminton? Badminton is one of the rocket sports requiring players to hit shuttlecock across a net with a rocket inside badminton court. You can play badminton in both indoor or outdoor environments. However, most of the world-class competitions are held in an indoor area because they want to reduce the influence caused by external factors such as wind, lights to the minimum level. History of Badminton Let's start with 1600. Different versions of badminton have been played for centuries, but it was the game of Pune in India that was the basis of the game of badminton we play today. From the 1600s, battle bar and shuttlecock was just a game involving two persons hitting a shuttlecock towards each other as many times as possible before it hit the ground and it is used to be an upper class game in Europe including England. And now let's move on on 1870s. By around 1870s, retired British army officers brought the game back to England from India and it became a very popular sport. In 1873, the Duke of Beauport introduced the sport at his country estate, Badminton House. In Gloucestershire, since then, this sport was called Badminton. And now, let's proceed to facilities and equipment of Badminton. The Badminton Court The Badminton Court should be 44 feet long by 20 feet wide if playing doubles, and 44 feet long by 15.6 feet wide for singles. If the facility is indoors, there needs to be enough height for the shuttlecock to be able to float across the net without hitting the ceiling. This height will vary depending on the strength of the player. The net. A mesh net divides the badminton court into two sides. A badminton net is placed lower than a valuable net at 5 feet and one inch high on the sides and 5 feet high in the center. The badminton shuttlecock, also referred to as a shuttle or birdie, acts similarly to a ball in other racket sports. However, the design of the birdie creates more drag as it is propelled through the air due to its feathered shape. The badminton rocket The badminton rocket is one of the most important tools a player has in the game. Badminton rockets are much lighter than the most other sports rockets because they are made from materials such as carbon fiber or lighter metals such as aluminum. Badminton rockets can vary widely in cost depending on whether they are purchased as part of the basic backyard set or as more expensive professional models. And now let's proceed to officiating officials of badminton. Role of the referee The referee is the most important official of the whole tournament. He or she is in charge of competition and needs to ensure that the tournament is conducted following the laws of badminton, including court, rockets, and shuttlecock measurements, the regulations of Badminton World Federation, and or any other regulations that might be relevant in that specific competition. Role of the umpire The umpire is the maximum authority in a particular match and it is in charge of the court. The duty of the umpire is to make sure that the specific match is conducted following the laws of badminton, the regulations of the Badminton World Federation, or any other regulations that might be relevant in the specific competition. Role of the service judge The service judge is responsible for making a service call, call and to provide shuttles to the players. Due to the way badminton is played, the serve is one of the most important and perfected shots of the player, and especially when playing doubles. Players will bring the serve to the limit of legality in order to gain as much advantage as possible. Role of the line judge The line judges are responsible for indicating whether a shuttle cup landed in or out. If the shuttle lands near the lines, he or she is assigned to control. 
Due to the fast speed of the game and the skill of the players, this is very challenging job and as a result, the line judges are the officials that usually get more pressure from the players. So let's demonstrate the basic skills in badminton. Gripping Gripping is the proper way of holding or gripping the rocket, forehand and backhand. Serving is the stroke that is used to move the shuttlecock from one side of the court to the other in order to start the play. It is also called service. And lastly, strokes. Basically, a stroke is the swing motion of your rocket arm. It is not a badminton shot, however, you'll need to perform these strokes to hit a certain shot. Footwork is another vital skill for badminton. The players have limited space to move around, so good footwork is imperative. And that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching!